I want to tell you, I saw this and I thought this is exactly what God is trying to tell us. Giving up doesn't mean you're weak. It only means that you're strong enough to let go. Philippians put it this way in chapter 3, 13 and 14. Brothers and sisters, I don't consider that I've taken hold of it yet. But here's one thing I do. I forget what is behind me and I push on toward what's ahead of me. I push myself forward toward the goal to win the prize because God has appointed me to win it. The heavenly prize is Christ Jesus himself. A lot of these thoughts aren't original with me, but they're powerful enough. I wanted to share them because they tied to something I learned last year. About this time last year, I was with my daughter on a beach, releasing paper lanterns with hundreds of other people all around the bay where we were at, doing the same thing. Each of us could only release our own lantern. If you didn't release it, it couldn't fly and you'd be holding on to something you didn't want or need. In many situations in life, it's just like that. We hang on to things we don't really want and we don't need in our lives, and our instinct in many situations is to fight it or to fix it or to seize control. But very often God is asking us to do exactly the opposite. He's asking us to let go. Surrender is completely counterintuitive. At least it is for me, but that's the nature of life that's lived God's way. It runs against all of our natural instincts, but I want to remind you of something very important. Letting go isn't the same as giving up. Giving up is when that rope is torn from your bleeding hands and you just can't hold it anymore, so you quit. It's something you allow to happen by a choice of your will. God never wants to give up, or wants us to give up, but he does want us to let go. Letting go is an act of acceptance, an act of surrender, and it's also a part of life. Let's face it, we let go of a lot of things. To let go is to accept those things that we cannot change. It doesn't mean we approve of them or even like them, but we release them nonetheless because to not do it pulls us down. Letting go is an act of love, not defeat. It's a deliberate decision to place our trust in Jesus Christ. Letting go is the path to freedom. It's also, it opens the door for us, for God to gain what he's after without interrupting or interfering with or intercepting his masterpiece. He's created you and he's seeking to create that masterpiece in you. The fact is, life is a series of losses. We lose friends and relationships and jobs and churches and family and members and even our favorite stores and restaurants and hotels and TV shows. The only thing that's guaranteed in our earthly existence and even that will be gone one day is when we transition to the next life. But all loss is an opportunity for further growth. As Frank Lubach writes, he is a true soldier who faces peril and loses and de- losses and defeat and pain without losing his nerve. This is also the test of a genuine follower of Christ. I think that's true, isn't it? To have things that you wanted that didn't go your way and to still follow, that's a test of a true follower like James talks about. As difficult as it is to let go, I want you to keep this in mind. You're not really letting go. You're simply transferring the problem from your hands that you're holding so tight onto into God's hands, hands that are far more capable than your own. There's a famous poem that says, as children bring their both broken toys with tears for us to mend, I brought my broken dreams to God because he was my friend. But then instead of leaving him in peace to work alone, I hung around and tried to help with ways that were my own. At last, I snatched them back and cried, how can you be so slow? My child, he said, what could I do? You never did let go. Letting go isn't easy. But if a tree didn't let go of its leaves, new growth in the fall, in the, in the fall, new growth in the spring wouldn't be possible. Fall is brilliant because it shows us the beauty and the value of letting go. In Thailand, New Year's is about letting go of the past so that you can live into the very best future that God has for you. Never give up, but let's all 
let go, and let God. So that's your challenge for this week as we start the new year. Never give up, but let go of your life and put it totally in God's hands. And that's how I want you to start 2023. That's the challenge that will change this whole year for you. God bless.